Howdy all you buckaroos, it's time to learn how God loves you. So come on now, get out of your pew. Eric's got a great children's message for you. Boy, howdy. Hello, Pam. Howdy. This was a week that reminded us to trust in God. I suppose every week is like that, but this week that was especially true. And today we're focusing on trusting in God's provision. And provision is a huge word that simply means provide. God provides for us. And we learned about that with Abby, Hank, and Levi. What did you guys dress up as for Halloween? Hello, my name's Abby, and I my costume for Halloween is Let It Go number two. Like, I don't know. Fire costume. What's a fire costume? It's my favorite. Were you a fireman? No, I'm not a fireman. You were just on fire for Halloween? No. Yeah. <laughs> and please introduce us to the youngest member of the family. Who is he? Levi. Levi. Don't, don't do that. And what did Levi not. dress up as for Halloween? A lion. He didn't want his name. True, but you guys came up with a solution. Trust means you believe that someone will be there for you. They will be reliable. Who do you guys trust? My dad, my mom, and my grandma. I'm glad God provided you with so many trustworthy people in your family. And just in the short time that I spent with you guys, I notice you must trust each other a lot because you sure do love one another. Aww, that's very nice. Mm -hmm. It's good to see how much you care for each other. And you trust each other, right? Yeah, that's very cool. Stop loving each other. This is very weird. This is a weird thing to be stopping. And normally people or siblings are fighting when these things are going on. They're not kissing each other. That's fantastic. It's very difficult to love someone you don't trust. So you must trust each other a whole lot. Why do you trust Hank so much, Abby? Because we love each other a lot in our hearts. Because he is my brother. The one we can trust the most is God. And can we trust every word that comes from God? Yes. Is it going to be true? Yes. Yeah. And so it helps when somebody doesn't tell lies uh, and is always honest with us and keeps their promises. And God does all of those things. We can trust God because he keeps his word. He's reliable. He's always there for us. And as we're talking about how God provides for us, I want to read from his word in Philippians Chapter 4, verse 19. It's page 1183 in your VBS Bible. And it says, My God will use his wonderful riches in Christ Jesus to give you everything you need. So what all has God provided for you guys? Colors. Colors? Yeah. The sun. Mm. Lights and the clouds. He's giving us the rain and the clouds, too. And that's not a bad thing. And what? the mm -hmm. cloud top, oh, the cloud <laughs> top rains to get some plants some green. In our Old Testament reading, God provides for his servant, Elijah. His story tells us about sharing and how God provides for us with each other. There was a famine in the land. So Elijah had no food and no water. So God sent him to a stream where he could drink. Then he provided food for him the most amazing way. Birds came and brought him bread and meat. Then God provided a stranger to care for Elijah. 
she was carrying just a little bit of flour and a little bit of oil. And Elijah said, Give me some bread. Give me some bread. And the woman said, No. This is all the oil and the flour I have. I don't have anything left. And I have a son at home, and he doesn't have anything to eat. Right now, he's eating plastic. But Elijah told her, God will provide. So the woman made bread for Elijah, and there was enough for him and for her and for her son that day and the next day and the next and for weeks to come. So God didn't provide them with absolutely everything they wanted, but he gave them enough. And he gave them each other. It reminds me of what theologian Mick Jagger says. You don't always get what you want, but if you try sometimes, you just might find you get what you need. And so God isn't necessarily going to provide food for us with birds each day, but he does provide food for practically any kid who shows up at church on a weekday at 11 a.m. through a school bus, through a program Bethlehem is involved with through the public school district, which is pretty awesome. But he does promise, and we know his word is reliable, to give us something even better than food. Does God love us today? Yes. Yes. Does he love us even more than you two love each other? Yes. Yeah. yes. Is he going to love us tomorrow? Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah, God himself, his word, and his love will be there for you each and every single day. He showed us that by sending Jesus to die for us on the cross and rise for us. So we're thankful that God will do anything to provide what's best for us. Why don't we pray? Repeat after me. Dear God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, thank you for being trustworthy, for providing our every need, and always being there with your love. Help us to provide for each other. And all God's people said, Amen. Be blessed and be a blessing.